we started this week out about talking about who Jesus is and and I said I would discuss some things about I'm learning this, I'm learning from Jesus. I'm, I'm relearning some things and some things I've learned in the past I'm having to relearn again. And, and after we talked about who Jesus is, we, we talked about two things that just fascinate me about the Lord that he, he only does what he saw the Father doing and he only says what he hears the Father saying. And I think they were, they were the foundation upon which he, he carried an attitude of humility throughout his ministry and and he spoke about having attitudes in Matthew 5 and today I, there's there's this thing about the Lord that has challenged me consistently in in my entire life and and I consider what Jesus did the only way for me to be successful and I want to read uh, out of John 8:29 and then out of John 14:10 and it speaks to us of this, this very important learning experience we can have in our life if we carry this kind of spirit about us. Here's what he says, Jesus says in eight, John 8, 29, and he who sent me is, is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. <laughs> I always do those things that please him. And then just flipping a few pages to John 14 and, and verse 10. Do you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. That's a good key to why he always pleased the Father. But that, that little phrase, I only do, I only do the things that please my Father. I wish I could say that about my relationship with God. I've only done in my life since I started following him that which pleases him. That That's not true. I have, I have failed him many times. But because Jesus, well, he was man and also God and lived on this planet for approximately 33 years, he only did what would please the Father. Whew, I want that in me. I want... I want my life to be pleasing to the Father. I want him to say when I finish, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Don't you? And so for me, one of the, one of the greatest things I've been learning from the life of Christ is this, I, I want to please God. I just want to please God. In fact, we know that he did because in Luke chapter 3, verse 22 Here's what it says. At the baptism of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit descended in bodily form like a dove upon Jesus and a voice came from heaven which said, you are my beloved son in you I am well pleased. Now, I know conflict happens in everybody's life. And so one of the things that happens is, is that, that if we're married, we, we try to please our spouse. And in attempting to please our spouse, sometimes to, to gain acceptance and not realizing that we already have acceptance many times, but we want to please them because we want acceptance. We want to please them because we want to make them happy. Uh, sometimes we have that in a relationship with parent and child. A parent even wants to please their child so their child will be happy and the child wants to please the parent so the parent will be happy and and. In every relationship, employer, employee, this this kind of play back and forth happens and neighbors to neighbor and in in laws and so forth and in the church it happens and and <clears throat> I've tried to stand by this. I, I don't know why or how come, but early on in, in my relationship with the Lord when I made a genuine decision to repent of my sin and I in godly sorrow repented and and I, I fled from the things that I was doing that were uh, double-minded and disobedient and rebellious. And, and the Holy Spirit just began to work on me. And this thing started impressing me back then. At 14 years of age, I remember, man, I really want to please God. I, I want the Father to be pleased with my behavior, my attitude, my, the things that I do. And 
maybe it was the word of God that got into me that at an early age, or maybe it was simply the work of the Holy Spirit every day. I, I just didn't want to displease the Lord. And it was easy for me as a teenager to know when I had become rebellious and disobedient and I wasn't pleasing God by how I was living, what I was saying, or my attitude. And I, I've, I've appreciated to know into the depths of the earth, you could say the bottom of my heart, that, that the Holy Spirit was constantly there throughout my life he's been there. And I've known when I've displeased God right away. And there have been times I could, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was, I was upset. So I didn't care if I displeased God. I'd be angry about it. I don't care, God. I thought you were going to do this and you didn't do it. You didn't show up for me. And I got that little childish behavior and, and it didn't take long because I, I'd grieved the Holy Spirit. And I, I felt that, that kind of nakedness and emptiness that comes when you grieve the Holy Spirit. And I, I felt kind of alone and and I realized what I'd done and I repented again and, and received that assurance again and that renewing of relationship again. And because something has just written throughout my life that I saw Jesus, I, I only, I always do those things which please the Father. Wow. Man, I want that to be in me. I want the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart to be acceptable in, in God's sight. My Lord and my Redeemer, I want you to be pleased with the words of my mouth, but I want you to be pleased with the meditations of my heart and mind. I, I want you, Lord, to be pleased with how I treat people and and how I live my life every day and in relationship to neighbors and relationship to people I don't know and other drivers on the road and and cashiers behind a counter at a store. Man, do not those words just challenge you right now? I only do those things which please the Father. I didn't come to do my will, Lord. I came to do yours, Father. I'm here to bring glory and honor to you. May that happen through my life. Let that be a, a great challenge and prayer of your heart today as we go to the throne of God in Jesus' name. Father, I, I want to please you. It's easy to get caught up pleasing other people in this world looking for some answers to who we are sometimes. But Lord, we were created by you for you and and we are gonna spend eternity with you and I want you to be pleased with me. And I thank you right now through the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm accepted. And those who know you through the blood of Christ are accepted in your presence. And we can only measure up in Christ. Hallelujah. But I want everything I'm thinking about and everything I'm doing to be acceptable to you too, Lord. Hallelujah. And I praise you for doing a work in me for your glory. Amen. Well, grace and peace be blessed today and please the Father.